How you doing guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the continuation of us here fishing or what I like to call it testing our luck in Miami Beach. And if you guys didn't see part one, make sure to go look at it because you're gonna be lost. But right now we're not lost. We're actually going to our next fishing spot with Capitan Fresquito on the helm. And like you notice, the day is still beautiful and perfect to keep searching for more fish. All right, so we found some more wrecks up north at uh, 72 feet. So we're gonna try it here. Test our luck once more time. See what happened. See what happened, man. That's all can you do. Test your luck. And then we call it fishing. All right, guys, so this is spot number two. Uh, we just anchored up and we're gonna see what happened here. I noticed something right away, though. We're deeper, but there's no fish on the screen, but there is a wreck. Rod's in the water, chum is in the water. So we're just waiting to see. Is something catches so still flat perfect day to be fishing or out in the water doesn't matter as long as you're out here it's good it's actually a lot of boats out in the water okay so we got first bite any team brother grunt. that's a pretty big grunt though you become to be like your mom grunt man <laughs> talk about your mom check this out guys look let's stay really quiet really quiet really quiet check this out Check this out. It's only Fresco and me here fishing, right? You only see? Look, look. It's only us here. You see? It's only us here. All right, check this out. Look at them sleeping. Look at them. I'm talking about, yeah, let's go fishing. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, out here sleeping. Yeah, keep... So, you're stuck by the way. Oh, Fresco got another one. Oh, uh, uh, one of those snappers. What is that? Uh, big eye snappers. Oh, I forgot what you call those fish. Sail big eye bandit. I don't, know. I don't know what you call those. What size are these? Uh, I don't know. You got to check. I don't know the size of that one. All right, so he got two. I got zero. It's all good though. It's all good in the hood. As long as I'm in the water, it don't matter what I'm doing. Fishing, no fishing, just hanging out, eating, it don't matter. But, all right, here we go. Yo. A Pokemon. A Porgy. Something is something, right? Mm -hmm. So. You gonna throw them back too little? Mm -hmm. Too big, too little? Let me check them out. Um, too little. Yeah, it's too little. Let him go, right? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, so. You need something? You need, you need assistance? No, I got you. What is that? A snapper or something? I don't know. A mutton. You need a. Uh... It's a mutton. Oh yeah, nice mutton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put. If you're gonna do, well, it's too small though. But it's nice though. Nice mutton. Wow. Nice mutton. Another Pokemon. Another Pokemon. Is he bigger though? Oh, that's a pogey. Just yeah. different color. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Some more live action. Throw it up, throw it up. Oh my goodness gracious. What the? Another grunt. A king grunt. Oh, it's getting bigger though, right? Yeah. I guess we'll be eating fish tonight. Oh, when they wake up. What? A uh, eel. Oh my god. Oh, they say this is really good to eat. For real? Yeah. We're gonna eat it? Yeah, they say this is really good to eat. Whoa, that squid hit me in the eye. Oh yeah, it's a nice Pokemon. Big poke. Yeah, that's a nice poker right there. Oh yeah. They got a poker. Where's a rag? All right, so I guess we're getting entertained while everybody's sleeping. Yes, I'm gonna make it obvious. Yes, they're all sleeping. Tom, I wanna go fishing. That's all good though. I guess when they wake up, they'll get energy and keep fishing. Another nice fish, maybe. Is there another grunt? <gasps> oh, a hogfish. A hogfish. Too si too tiny though. And that is out of season two, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. A hogfish on a hook, baby. On a hook. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay, so while me and Fedekito, while the rest of the crew still sleeping in the AC in the cabin, yes, I'm making it obvious. So when they see this video, they feel guilty. But it's okay. Me and Fresquito here hanging out, waiting for a bite. But something we noticed 
there was a seagull that caught something right next to us. Well, as uh, you can see, there's plenty of boaters out here enjoying the beautiful day and relaxing and fishing. But while we're relaxing and fishing, there's other people in a hurry, like these guys. But you know what? I understand them because I like cruising fast too. And while we're so amused by them, we noticed something right away. It was a big yacht heading our direction. And I got a little bit nervous because sometimes the captains set the yacht on autopilot so it looked like they were headed right for us. But it was pretty close, but they didn't hit us. So we kept on fishing. All right, guys, and look who's up. The rest of the crew just got up. Talking about they want to fish. When it's almost time to go. Rogues, you took a nap so you could fish at the right time. Yes. That's she the excuse. Me. No, she told me. She told me. All right, so hold on, hold on. We got that yellow. Yeah, let me keep we yeah. got that. We got that yeah. flagger. Yeah, Mom, the mouth. What is it? What is it? Hold on. More than 12. Here. 12 and a half. All right, look at that evidence now. We got that 12 incher on camera. That yellow teller. We got a yellow tailor finally, that's one of my favorite fish to eat. So we're getting some live action late in the afternoon. And we made it here all day. Look, look what we caught. We even caught ballyhoos. We got some ballyhoos, we got whatever that thing. And we're trying though, we're trying. We're taking everything home, no matter what it is. We're taking it as long as it's safe. Because uh, we want to make a fish fry, hopefully. Catching coke, what a lot of people have been asking. Uh, that I'm too lazy and Ogita don't want to cook when she gets home. That's very true. <laughs> so today, if we get early home, we might do a little uh, catch and cook video at the house. You, to cook. You, can, you can easily just clean the fish and, and cook them yourself. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. If you don't want to make a barbecue, so you fry sandwiches, I can make the sandwich. So now, what? You can make the fish. Alright, so let's get fishing. And I'm <laughs> I got you on camera. What well, happened? She got stuck with the with the uh, antenna. What you got? A small it's one. It's long though, right? I think it's long for cosmetics. Now that was pretty funny. I caught Ogita swinging the rod and getting it tangled up on the antenna. I guess we'll call it a blooper and I'll let it play because it was funny. But yep, we're still here. Testing our luck fishing towards the late afternoon. Oh, finally. What is it? What is it? Chow, chow. Chow, chow, mom. Mom, mom, pick up your rod. Do not throw your rod in. Oh, yeah, king, king. Kingfish. Oh, my goodness. Get the hammer. Oh, the, get the, the hammer. Not the hammer. Not the hammer. The hammer. We got Spanish. Spanish macro? Yeah. Yes. Put him in. Put him in. Oh. Put him in. Yes. Oh, come ah, on. Joel. It's in. It's in. Yes. Spanish. Yes. Yes. Look at that boy. Oh, my God. Finally. Got him. Woo. Alright, let's put yes. more on there. The day oh, turned yes. out well. Yes, bro, let's go. He's pretty big. Oh, well, look. Yeah, well, he was actually off the hook already. Oh, my God. He was off the hook. Oh, my God. We're so lucky. Yeah, he was off the hook already. Look at it. Hook them sideways. That's not. Whoa. Ooh, I didn't have to, Bobby. 
There goes the rod. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 it was off the hook. Throw it away, it's away. Yeah. Get him in the mouth. Cause you know, that's, that's why they strike, I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Oh my god, ready that, ready that. Oh. Woo. Yeah, baby. Woo. Mom. Mom. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So you guys are having fun today or what? Uh-huh. And who had the most fun here today? Gabby? Yeah. Gabby had the most fun today. Or was it Yuli? Was it Yuli? No way! I'm cooking. So we're heading back in with another beautiful sunset over Miami. All right, guys. So we're gonna call it a day, and we got a bunch of grunts, Spanish mackerel, and then laser jack. So we did okay. At least we're gonna eat some fish tonight. So, it's pretty good. It's a good day. And it was out in the water, having the fun in the sun. Right about now. You in tune to the wettest channel on the internet. All right guys, so finally, finally, what a lot of people have been asking me, a catch and cook video. So we did the catching, now we gotta do the cooking. But that's in the next following up video. But now we're gonna go ahead and enjoy the cool ride back in with this beautiful sunset. And like you can see, we got lucky once again because we made it through the cut without fighting with the big waves. And also, as soon as we came in, we noticed there was people here still taking advantage of the last minute of the day, like fishing off the sides and people hanging out at the sandbar, still having fun in the sun. But we didn't stop, we cruised right through. back to Halover Ramp and feeling lucky here too because sometimes we have to wait due to too many boats leaving at once but not today today we just drove up and tied up and also I'm showing this because a few people has asked me to show how I load the boat onto the trailer that sometimes it could be difficult if it's low tide but if it's high tide it's really easy and I think right now we're in the middle so we'll see what happens and like you're gonna see this is teamwork because Joel jumps onto the dock and ties up the boat. But the trick about docking in is come in very slow. So like that if you make a mistake, you can always correct yourself without hitting the pilings. And now I leave the crew in charge of the boat, make sure it doesn't hit the pilings due to other boats wake while I get the truck. And something that I had to get used to is putting the trailer really deep into the water because this boat has such a deep V that most boats only use right, three boat. quarters of the trailer. Straight. This one, almost the whole trailer goes in. I like to guide the boat up while Fresquito yeah. drives with one engine just to give me a little bit of hope because I don't want the V to hit the metal brackets on the trailer. Gotta go forward, go forward. Now, once the boat is in the correct position on the trailer, I let Fresquito and Joel do their job. Joel does the winch and Frequito does the acceleration to push the boat forward because this boat is so heavy that you cannot winch it up. It has to be pushed forward by the engines 
Now, if you're ever behind me, be careful because there's going to be a lot of water pressure coming your way from the three motors going forward. And now, once the boat is on the right position on the bow catcher, Joel uses a winch to secure it in place. So that you can see, it takes teamwork of three. Fresquito on the, on the throttles, Joel on the winch, and me being the eyes. Because the bow of this boat is so high, it makes it difficult to see what's going on forward. And also to answer a lot of questions about the truck. Yes, this is a gas 2500 4x4 Chevy truck and it pulls the boat just fine. But I use 4x4 to get it out of the rain. And yes, this boat is over 12,000 pounds heavy. And we now all tied up and hit the road to go back home. And got lucky once again because sometimes there's a lot of boat traffic on Collins Avenue from everyone leaving the ramp and the hotel and the beaches but not today not today also guys don't forget to like the videos and comment something that you liked about it or you didn't like about it or if you have any questions but don't forget to check out the previous video of the day and the following up fish fry at the house a lot of people like to cut them and roll and fry them or oven bake them but it tastes really fishy and oily so he told me take the skin off all right so she makes in half half uh, cracker batter and half i guess a uh, fish fry batter 